All right, artists, today we are going to finish our puppy sweater weaving projects. First thing you're going to want to make sure you have is your puppy's head drawn, your puppy's legs drawn, and the tail. You will also want to make sure if you had any pencil lines showing through or behind that Sharpie, you go ahead and erase those now. We will be adding a little bit of color and texture to our dogs today. So if you have any pencil lines, you wanna erase them before we do that. Okay, so you will also wanna make sure that you have your weaving all put and glued together. All right, so when you have your puppies at your table, you will also see that you have a bin of oil pastels. And we're gonna use these oil pastels to add a little bit more texture and some shading to our dogs. So I'm gonna find some colors that kind of match the color of my dog ham and then i'm just going to in a couple areas maybe add a little bit of texture i'm doing the same kind of like bumpy bunny hop lines that i did before to really show that kind of curly fluffy hair that my dog has i might even layer on another color with that because and you'll notice that when i do that it kind of mixes together to make like a lighter color. So oil pastels, when we layer them on top of each other like this, they kind of mix. So when I layer them, I'm gonna get some extra color. And this is just gonna add a little bit of shading, um, like when I do these little lines, these little shade lines, and that's gonna make our puppies look a little bit more realistic and kind of show the texture of their fur a tiny bit more. When I'm all done and I have put my oil pastels away to get them out of my way, it is time to cut out the different parts of our puppy. So I'm gonna cut, when I'm cutting out my puppy, I'm leaving a tiny bit of a border around my black line. So what I mean by that is I'm cutting just outside of the black line. I remember that one hand turns and steers my paper the other hand that is holding my scissors, that hand is staying in place. So I'm not twisting my scissors around in an awkward position. Um, I am just keeping that hand straight and my other hand is steering. I reposition my hand as I need to to get a better grip and keep cutting. I'm gonna leave a little bit of extra room down here at the neck or at the base of my tail and the top of my legs because those are gonna be glued onto our weaving. Okay, now I've got all the pieces of my puppy cut out. I've got the head, I've got the legs, and there are two different sets of legs, one for the back, one for the front. I cut them separately. And then the tail, and all of these pieces are separate so we can glue them onto the right spot of our weaving. So once we have our weaving, you have some glue sticks at your table and you're going to start by just kind of lining up where each thing will be glued. So for example, I'm lining up my puppy's head where I want it to be glued onto my weaving. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just going to kind of peel my weaving back a tiny bit and see where it lands on my puppy's head. And so I'm just going to add some glue to this bottom area because we're gluing it onto the back of our weaving. So it looks like your puppy's head is coming out of the little sweater. So I put a little bit of glue, I'll line it up and push it down. All right, cool, I got it pretty much all the way to the edge. Now it's time for the other parts of our dog. Okay, so now let's do the legs. I've got a pair of legs for the front and the back. So these are my legs that gonna, are gonna be in the front. These are my legs for the back. Ooh, I notice I've got some extra paper coming off my weaving right here. So before I glue down my legs, I'm gonna trim that off because I don't want those extra pieces on top of the legs. So you'll notice I'm just lining my scissors up with the bottom of my paper. I can get those little scraps off. Okay, now I'm ready to glue. I'm gonna line up my legs where I want them and then do the same thing. Peel my weaving back, put glue on the part that's gonna be hidden just along the outside, and 
push it down. And I'm gonna kind of hold it flat for just a second. I'm not gonna massage my paper on the front because this oil pastel will smear and get onto the rest of my weaving. Okay, same thing on my other leg. And make sure it's lined up, glue it down. Last thing I need to glue down is my tail. So I'm gonna line it up where I want it, the position I want it, and then peel back that paper a little bit, add the glue where I need it, line it back up, and push. Now I can flip my paper over and kind of massage on the back. Make sure these papers look like they're glued down all the way. If I need to add a little bit more glue, I can to make sure it's really secure. Looks like I pretty much got it. Put my glue away, and then, Ta-da! Your adorable little puppy weaving is complete. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see your puppies finished and all.